Washington, D.C. is a great city, but a bunch of us felt 20 years ago should be better. There were no major banks in the city lending east of 16th Street, which is somewhat difficult to believe today, given all of the development that's occurred all around the city. The target of a City First Bank of D.C., it's essentially east of 16th Street, going out to northeast Washington, to southeast, east of the river. And having institutions who have special expertise and who are driven to focus on those communities can make a difference. This bank, at its core, and as a part of its mission, was developed to be out there in the communities, away from downtown, in underserved neighborhoods, and to serve them. City First is really a family of organizations that try to provide a mix of services to help make things happen that otherwise wouldn't happen. So we're funding these small businesses, the health clinics, the charter schools, and the developers that are producing affordable housing, rental or ownership within these communities, that's where we do our work every day. The bank, by bringing capital into smaller developments, be it retail, be it office, be it multifamily, for sale housing, makes a huge difference in these neighborhoods. If you think about this city, there's this great undiscovered middle. Uh, where there are viable businesses, where there are people that are capable of purchasing a home and starting to build wealth. What C First enables us to do is to tap into that. It's just extremely important work, work we love, and the work that truly makes a difference in people's lives. We started in 1988 in a tiny little basement serving primarily pregnant women and their children for pediatric care. We started with about 300 women, and today, 25 years later, we have about uh, 35,000 people that we serve. What we built here was a state-of-the-art center that allows housing, it allows health services and social services and education all in one building. City First was actually the convener of all these folks that were able to bring the lending to Mary Center besides the city money. Without that, we would not have been able to, to really get this, this project underway. Banks often will support commercial projects, but a school project what is more important than education? City First has been a partner with E.L. Haynes since even before we opened. The first check we were supposed to get was shy of $250,000. Since we'd never been open before, we didn't have any more money. The sun, which is big and far away, also has City First came to our rescue and gave us a line of credit. From that moment on, I was smitten. We had no athletic facility or fields and barely enough room for classrooms. We have been on five different campuses in our history. We are now all together for the first time on one campus, and we couldn't have done it without City First Bank. City First Bank provided us with a new markets tax credit that is going to save us millions of dollars in repaying the loan. It really spoke to their commitment to helping us work with the folks in our city to give our kids a better life. Bread for the City is a nonprofit that's been around for almost 40 years now, and we provide food, clothing, medical, legal, and social services to low income residents. Thanks to City First, we were able to finally marshal the resources to plan and, and complete an 11,000 square foot expansion of this facility. But now, since this expansion, we've been able to incorporate dental and vision in the medical practices. In the first two plus years that we've been uh, seeing uh, patients in our dental clinic, we've seen over 2,000 low income DC residents. We have a rooftop garden built literally into the roof, and we have scores of people go up and help us. We've done some real creative things since we completed this expansion. We came
came into this neighborhood wanting to be in a um, neighborhood that was growing, and of course this neighborhood has changed tremendously over the years. We went around to many different banks, and City First was the bank that actually sat down and talked with us. And ever since then, they've been our bank. They've been a huge partner in helping us to, you know, grow. Now we're at four stores. Anytime we open up a, a new location, we bring 30 to 50 employees per store. It looks really good. We love to be able to offer employment and create jobs. We've got folks that have been with us from day one. The city of Washington is going through a major transition. Market rate housing is developed in every single corner of this city. And affordable housing is very much difficult to produce. Without the participation of the bank, we wouldn't be able to afford to purchase the Selma apartments. I work for Metro. I've been living here almost one year. And I, I like the building. It's close to everything, so it makes it convenient. It's affordable. It's just, it's fair. It's, it's what rent should be. I can, you know, I can make it here, you know what I mean? We want to grow in the partnership with the City First Bank. The people that we serve in the city will be left out without a participation of the community bank. down a street and not be able to pick out a building that City First Bank has financed. And there are people who believe that uh, in order to make a profit, you need to be exclusively focused on shareholder value. Um, we didn't believe that. We can count a billion dollars of capital directed towards low and moderate income communities. We're really proud of the role we've been able to play with all these partners to try to help D.C. become a more fair, just, open city. The future of D.C. comes from the neighborhoods. Our ability to have these interesting, eclectic, diverse, and varied spaces. The city First has enabled this focus on neighborhoods to happen.